Greetings and salutations, Geo Nerds. Well, here we are, folks, over one of the most beautiful cities in Australia. Pro tip, it's Adelaide. So, what's this beautiful city got to do with this thumping great big thing coming in at quite an angle, by the way, to smash into Australia? And this beautiful little South Australian country town. Well, if you hang around, we'll, we'll find, find out, out together. Well, folks, here we are today in front of Glenelg, one of my favourite places on this planet. We're just going to whiz down the wharf as you do, down the main street where the trams are. Look, there's a tram there, the chewed up bit. Over Adelaide, because, you know, we've got a little way to go, not too far. Beautiful town, as I said in the intro, one of the most beautiful towns in Australia, cities. We're going over to, first of all, a place called Mount Crawford, or Crawford. It's actually, a, this crater is about halfway between Mount Crawford and Springton. And I'll draw it on the map for you briefly. It's an oblique crater, so this thing came in at an angle, it smashed in. And uh, we get up to, this is the Flaxman crater, which is in the Flaxman Valley. But there's a new crater. It's, here it is here. Here's the center, there's a hill there on uh, Lamb's Tail Gully or something. And that's the center and that's the outer ring. And we'll see that in the topo. And further research indicates that even the Barossa Valley may be part of this feature. And when we pull that, they're saying this feature could be 40 kilometres round. And 40 kilometres sort of does this. So I think it's worth having a further look. What do you reckon? So anyway, we've got a bit of geology and a, some reports, so let's move on. Well, folks, first of all, let's have a look at where we are and when we are. South Australia. We're in the uh, Eocene here, so 30, 35 million years ago will get you there. And this is the area of South Australia. That mountain range is pushed up when Victoria rammed into it. Here's a slightly bigger photo of where the Crawford and the Flaxman craters were. However, they're confirmed. However, this one we're looking at is a little further north. There's Angerston there, and there's the hill we're gonna talk about in a minute. And that's been confirmed. That hill contain the rocks there contain shock quartz. There's only one thing. Here's a geology map of the area. South Australia is not for beginners. That blue area inside that circle. We'll talk a little more about that later. But this is where this is contained. Uh, again, there's a blue area you'll see up there. That's limestone actually, and you'll see something about Angerston and limestone. So this thing happened about 35 million years ago. These hills weren't here then. So here's the earth, about here, there's South Australia down there, those ranges hadn't formed. Uh, Victoria was still ramming into Australia, uh, and uh, in the later part of this map, most of it's sea level rise, but yeah, as you can see, everything keeps moving, nothing stays still. If you're one of those people that believe the earth was built in seven days, this is not your video, might have said it before. So the theory is, there was a large impact that came in from the southwest came across Kangaroo Island and bits of it started breaking off. They think there's an impact, those dotted lines means they think. Impact at Pelican, down there. Uh, they think there's an impact to the South. Flaxman and Crawford have been confirmed. They think the Barossa is an impact and they think there is another impact up near Angerston, which will probably end up being called the Angerston Crater in time. Here we've got another geological map. The blue is a limestone deposit, which you, you'll see a bit more of, but look at the hole punched in it there. Uh, that's interesting, because that is exactly where our thing is. Here's a gravimetric map. Uh, yeah, okay, maybe there's something. Nothing else was showing. So how do we know? How do we know? Well, first of all, you gotta get one of these and a few of these guys to go out, drill some holes for you. Because this stuff's not going to be long, you've got to pan it off the surface. And what you're looking for is this. This is shocked quartz. 
This is quartz that's been hit so hard that its molecular structure has changed. And you've got to hit this with two to five gigapascals to make it. Even a nuclear weapon won't do that. The only force on Earth <laughs> that we know of is a cosmic impact. And they're finding this in this area, in the rocks. So yeah, kudos to these blokes and these young men and women going out drilling holes. So in this area, uh, that's the hill in the middle of the Lens Tail Conduit Road. Uh, and there's not much to look at. You notice the road's white, it's all limestone. Uh, and this is when you look to the other way and you can see a bowl and those hills are in a radius. So near Angerston, you might have seen before, this is from the flight, there's this probably white thing. This is a limestone quarry, beautiful white limestone. And if you look around Angerston, there's a lot of it being used in the building, strangely enough. War memorials made out of it, obviously. Uh, and of course, it's been used in a lot of the facing stones on these buildings. Why wouldn't you? It's just around the corner. Uh, a beautiful town, by the way. Absolutely beautiful little town, as are all of these Barossa towns church look at that it's probably finished in limestone some of that is limestone in there the masonic hall oh well, you've got a stone you're gonna have masons of course 1910 bus stop that's all limestone i guarantee it with the uh, vine growing over the top there well folks that's it for this week uh keep your eye on this if there's developments i will certainly let you know the angerston crater the flaxman crater and the um, crawford crater uh, and there's probably going to be a pelican crater and a bunch of others once they get this story down pat. But uh, it's an interesting thing. Um, this is a 35 million year old impact. It's been largely wiped out by active uh, geology and, um, and uh, wasting and uh, erosion. But that shock quartz is almost indestructible. They'll always find it. Anyway, a new video is coming soon, as always. Uh, I'll always... Uh, Look for new interesting things to turn into videos. I hope you have a great week. Keep rocking. T-Rocks out. out.